Good morning, good morning. What's up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. We are down here at Bay Park, East Rockaway, New York. And we were looking at, looking at the water. The sun is coming up. Beautiful sunrise. Father Eugene's back and my new friend, Paul. Right, all right. Who's awake? Who's awake? Let's get this day going. Let's get this day going. All right, where's everybody? Let's go, let's go. Burning daylight. All right, so we got the hat on again today. FYE, forget your excuses. We're going to keep it G rated. And uh, we got the old shirt on. This is a throwback. Um, unfortunately, from what I'm hearing from my friends in the hospital world, the numbers are rising again, which, which is uh, not good. So uh, wash your hands and uh, stay clean. Try not to get COVID. Um, don't want to do that again. But uh, the numbers are rising in the hospital from my, uh, my friends are saying still low, but they're exponentially rising every day and that's not good. So we broke out the shirt again, six feet away. Wash your hands, don't get lazy. Let's keep this thing from growing again. But, um, all right, we got to get a message in for you today. Today's message, um, it's one I've talked about before, and it's look for the signs in life. Look for the signs that God puts in our life every morning, every day, um, to know you're right. So this Ride at Dawn thing has been fun for me, um, touching a lot of people. A lot of people keep reaching out to me and talking about life and talking about uh, God and talking about, you know, different things mindset and um one of my clients uh reached out yesterday and um it's a house that we're selling um i listed the house and i sold it uh to another client of mine another friend and uh she told me that when she went to sell her house she's been there over 40 years that uh you know it's an emotional experience to sell your house and uh, especially after that time all those memories and she told me that um when I listed the house, I listed it on a Thursday. We actually sold it the next Friday. It didn't even last a day. And um, she tells me that back in the day, she bought the house, I think, 1976. And in 1977, her husband, John, passed away tragically. And um, her kids were young at the time. And it was obviously a tough time in her life. And when I brought my friend in to uh, look at the house i kind of just knew it was it was the house for them i just kind of knew right away what was going to happen uh, my gut told me this is this is who's buying this house so i walked my friend john in uh those of you who know john uh batanti he's the uh marine that uh friend of mine lieutenant colonel over in garden city who was retiring to malvern and when john walked in the door and i introduced him she said she got chills because her husband's name was john um so she said, kind of just something made it feel right. So then she said further in, um, John's son is named Jack and her grandson is named Jack. Jack, not a super common name. She said it, it just kind of gave her uh, this warm feeling that her house was going to the right people, um, that her basically uh, past husband had, had approved and kind of aligned everything. And it just made her feel comfortable with everything because she paid attention to the signs that God gave her. Um, and it just gave you that gut feeling. And for me, it gave me the gut feeling. As I walked in the house, I knew this house was for them. And um, everything happens for a reason. So uh, in the message today, just, uh, just pay attention to what's going on in life. Tune in, dial in. Um, God gives us signs every day that we're on the right track um, or on the wrong track. And that's usually in our gut. Um, if your gut tells you you're doing something right you're going to feel good if your gut tells you you're doing something wrong you're going to feel bad but it all comes from your gut so follow your gut follow your gut you know what's right you know what's wrong uh you know if you're going in the wrong direction you know if you're going in the right direction it just feels good it just feels good in your gut so that said um that's my message today look for the signs follow your gut um god puts uh that puts a feeling there for a reason so um and the signs are there just don't don't overrule your gut so Tomorrow, last day here, riding on Long Island, we are going to Texas Wednesday, uh, Apex Live, to hang out with all my Apex brothers and sisters. Uh, we got a big event Thursday, we got a lot of networking coming up. Um, 
Let's see if uh, Mark's going to give us a workout Thursday morning. I haven't heard anything about that yet, but no trip to uh, Texas is complete without uh, the fitness ninja trying to kill us. So uh, I haven't heard from Mark yet. we got to find out what the story is on that. It is prayer time. All right, all right. All right. All right, so we got a new friend, Paul, here. Yeah. Morning. So we met Paul down here riding in Bay Park, uh, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. And uh, we told Paul about the journey, and he showed up in my driveway this morning at 6 a.m. So, and Father Eugene's back. He skipped yeah. next week. We're going to give him the pass. It's all right. That's all right. He skipped last week. We had to, we had to work him out a little extra hard today, you know. So, uh, that's it. Let's jump in prayer time. We'll get on with our ride. Get on with our ride. So... All right. Yes, sir. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Great Tuesday <laughs> in the West of Brian. <laughs> <laughs> great Tuesday. Great morning. It's always a great morning. Yeah, great morning. Never a good morning. Great morning. <laughs> so, thank God for the gift of another day. And when we continue to ask God to take care of us as we begin our prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our hope is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this great opportunity. Thank you for the gift of our friendship, for Brian, for Paul. Thank you for their families and continue to pray that you will bless us today and bless everyone out there today, friends, family members, and every other one that needs our prayer. So we continue to pray in a special way for every bike rider out there today, those who do morning exercises and those who also go for their morning walks. That you continue to protect and keep us fit we ask you to bless our day bless all our activities and bless every of our endeavors and projects we come to you always because you know we know you are our strength and our courage you are our sources we ask you that at the end of today we will come back to you in thanksgiving for answered prayers you will live and reign forever and ever the Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. All right, all right. Yeah. Thank you, Father Eugene, for your message. Yeah. Uh, it's always great to uh, say a prayer in the morning, start the day off right. And uh, we're out here trying to change the world one ride at a time, picking up new friends along the journey. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so have a great Tuesday, everyone. Uh, back tomorrow morning, live again, and we're off in Texas live. Um, I don't know how we're going to do that. I'll probably do the uh, hotel bike Thursday morning. And uh, that's it. So uh, have fun. Follow your gut. It won't steer you wrong. God bless.